What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys a very, very easy method of making coins in FIFA. It's not hard. It won't take a lot of time. You can do it pretty much every single week and it'll make you a pretty solid amount of coins. Now we are not going to be on FIFA. I'm going to go on Footpin to show you guys. I just wanted to do a little flex all my team of the week cards. I'm making a ton of coins off of those, but let's switch the screen. Oh man, I don't have a window capture screen. I guess we're going to have to go like this and full screen footpin okay as you can see we are looking at fodder i'm not really looking at 83 overall cards you could mess around with them there's a few that might be good like canales marino uh pope pickford leno uh there's some 83s that are decent but we're looking at 84s and what you're gonna see what we're gonna look at is the graphs and you will see that you can make a ton of coins on these cards and there's a very similar day every single week that is the low point Let's go to Tielemans, 84 overall card. We'll just go rating by rating. We'll go 84, 85, 86, and we'll go through just a couple cards in those and look at their graphs and you will see. Here we go. Tielemans, starting off Saturday, March 5th, 3,900 coins. Go to midweek, Monday, 5,200 coins. So he goes up about, what is that? Okay, I can do math, a little over a thousand coins. And then guess what? Drops back down again. Once again, Saturday, March 12th, we have 3,900 coins on Telemans. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, little over 5,000 coins. Back again to Saturday, uh, low 4,000s. And then boom, Wednesday, 6,500, 7,500 on Xbox. Uh, these are daily averages as well. Um, when an SBC comes out, maybe like 30 minutes after, say on this day tuesday wednesday when he's like five thousand coins as a daily average he could have gone up to like 7k for maybe an hour or half an hour and then dip back down because these are just daily averages um right here wednesday maybe he was nine thousand coins at one point the daily average is seven thousand four hundred so you know it's not exactly the exact price on the card so if you're on that content when an sbc drops these cards can be higher than what you're actually seeing right here but you know, if you saw what I was doing, the trend is Saturday fodder is low. Those are just 84s, though. Let's go look at different cards. We'll pick an 85. Uh, the card that I chose this week was, well, I have the graph right here. It was Gundogan. I tipped this in VIP. He's a pretty decent SBC card. He was 9,000 coins. And I was like, hey, yo, this is kind of cheap. So let's do the little thing again. Saturday, boom, um, 11K, a little bit like that. Tuesday. 13.5, 14K. We go back down. Boom. Saturday, a little lower on Sunday right there, but same price. Pretty much 9K. And dead day on 85s. Not going to lie. They go up about 1,000 coins. That's not that crazy. You make 500 coins per card. Nothing great. Boom. Saturday, 8K. That's pretty darn low. What happens a couple days later? 12K. Let's continue on the graph. What, what, what's the low day again? Oh, it's Saturday. Oh my God, I cannot believe that. Are you kidding me? Boom, 9K. What's he go up to? 14,815 k basically. He was really expensive at one point, I think. Let's go to the hourly graph. What day was that? Wednesday. So let's see on Wednesday what his hourly graph was actually like. See, this is what I mean by uh, daily average. We see PC, he was up at 20K. PlayStation, he was 16K. Yeah, 16K at one point for uh, quite a few hours if we're being honest so that's why daily average can seem a bit different sometimes let's look at yesterday as well is there a good jump on yesterday not really not really but that is it for 85 let's move on to an 86 and you get the point guys it's really just club stock fodder on saturday saturday content drops we have lightning rounds it's super easy just buy in uh, it's, it's very easy to make coins. Let me pick an 86. Who's a good 86? Um, honestly, Cancelo's probably not too bad, but let's choose Parejo, I think. Did Parejo have a team of the week? Hold on. What team of the week is this? Team of the week 26. I think we're on 27. So there's not a lot of supply on Parejo. I'm actually not going to, let's just do Hummels basic out of whatever. Hummels. 86 overall card real quick let's check them out you'll see the graphs again saturday pretty much a low day boom tuesday up go through the graphs. saturday nothing too crazy saturday 14 13k boom up to 17k saturday again 15k boom up to almost 20k and that's it uh the higher rated cards for this weekend let's talk about this weekend specifically on these investments if we don't have an icon SBC, there's not a crazy need for these cards. We know prime icon, no icon player pick. 
There's no crazy need for the higher rated players. Um, if we are gonna get Icon SBCs, it's usually Sunday is an Icon pack SBC and Wednesday is an Icon player pick SBC. That's how it would go. So maybe if we see an Icon SBC on Sunday, expect a player pick SBC on Wednesday. But uh, one thing that we are likely going to get is Casino SBCs, an 84 plus player pick. A I would expect that campaign player pick bag, whatever it was called again. Let's go look at it just so you can see. Back over to FIFA, the SBCs. Um, basically, if we get this run of SBCs again, expect the same graphs we saw this week to almost happen again. Uh, I don't think you need to worry about player SBCs. Friday, Saturday, you don't really get SBCs. You'll get maybe like player SBCs, but I wouldn't expect anything crazy. Like we had Tanali and Kaliguri, but the leaks for the two players we've had that are SBCs, I think it's uh, Perisic and some Madueka guy. I don't know who he is, but their stats don't look that crazy. So I wouldn't worry about like some crazy player SBC coming out and making these cards go up in price. But as you can see, campaign bag player pick. This is a pretty damn hyped sbc it expires in 16 hours i would expect them honestly like if i was gonna guess if i was gonna gamble i would guess this sbc releases again uh 84 overall squad high chemistry so players like mcguire shaw pk telemans there's a bunch of 84s that are good for sbcs those cards will be great if mcguire goes down to 4k that's a crazy buy but just wait for saturday because if i'm being honest we were looking at all the prices on 84s they're cheap. They're really cheap. 84s right now. Telemans. I was buying Telemans for 4K last weekend. And now we're not even at the weekend. It's Thursday when I'm filming this. And he's already 4K. Uh, so I would still guess they get lower going into Friday and Saturday. Because we're going to get lightning rounds. And I'm not expecting crazy SPCs Friday or Saturday. Uh, with the year in review player pick as well. I don't know if they would re-release this. I would expect the other SBC to be re-released this helped out the 85s a lot uh the campaign bag I would expect that re-released and then what was the other one that we got the 84 plus player pick usually almost every single week we've been getting an 84 plus player pick on Thursday I think last week may have been the only week when that didn't happen in a long time but that's it guys club stock fodder on Saturday I don't want to keep rambling on it's a very simple idea buy fodder on Saturday it's as easy as that you can make coins almost every single week if you have any questions about that, I'm streaming almost every single day. Just come through, ask, hey, Teddy, uh, this card, this price, should I buy it? I'll say yes, I'll say no, or I'll ignore you because I'm really frustrated from getting the same question over and over again. Who knows? Depends on my mood. Team of the Week cards as well. I'll be filming that video uh, tomorrow, Friday night. It'll probably be uploaded. But that's it. I hope this video helped you guys out, Help you make some coins. It's a very simple way of doing it. You can do this on your own. I mean, Saturday, by fodder. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.